What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Supreme Tech. Today I'm going to show you how to use the clipping mask and what it should be used for and just give you a brief little tutorial so that you know how to use it, know why you're using it, and give you a couple examples showing you how to do it, right? But before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, turning on them post notifications, and smashing that like button, and let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you a couple different things about clipping masks inside of Adobe Photoshop. And it's September 4th, 2020 right now. So I'm using the version of Photoshop on that date. So your controls might be a little bit different, but mostly they're going to be the same. Okay, so here we are. We got our picture. And say we want to mask out something. Let's mask out this red building here. So I'm just going to do a quick selection tool real fast. I'm not going to take my time with this selections at all. Just going to select the building. Okay, so now that we got that, say we want to make a mask, right? Let's uh, click on our mask button here. Now we got just this house. You could hold control and move it around, do whatever you want to do. Say we want to just put this picture behind here. And just have it in the background. I don't know why you would want a building in the background of this flower. But this is just the example. And that is how you want your picture to be. To move on to your next layer. And you don't want to affect anything else with this. Okay. What you do is you would hold down Alt. Or Option if you're using a Mac. And you would hover over the line in between these two layers. Then you would just click down on your mouse. And now this is clipped to this layer. Okay, so clipping masks are basically, say you have something in either an adjustment layer or mask or something like that. Let's just do adjustment layer. Let's do hue saturation. Okay, now we got this hue saturation adjustment layer. Let's bring it to the top. Now, if I change something on this layer, it would affect both of these pictures. See how it does that? See how we got the B picture and we have this cityscape thing right here? Both of these pictures are being affected when I click on my hue saturation layer and I change the hue. We don't want that. We just want, say we just want to change this B color. Let's first thing, let's select the B. I'm just going to do a quick selection of it. I'm not going to take my time on this at all. Okay, so now that we got the B selected, which we're going to want to do, click on this mask here, and we got the B cut out. We can hold Control and click on it to move it. Let's put it in the sky. And let's change the hue saturation. So we're just going to click on our layer up here again. And let's change it. Okay. Let's change the B blue. Now we got the B blue, but we don't want none of this other stuff to change. We want our bottom layer to be exactly how it was before. This is such an easy, simple solution. All you got to do is hold Alt. Hover over the line in between these two layers. And just mouse click. And now your hue saturation adjustment layer is going to be clipped or attached to this B picture, right? And it's only going to affect that. Now we could come here and change all this stuff. Change our hue again. Let's make it green. We could even white it out. Whatever we want to do. It's looking good. And that's it. Now we have our B that's just changed colors. And our bottom layer that is not being affected. Now like I said I'm just using hue saturation. This can apply to anything. Let's do something to our first layer right. Let's do an adjustment layer. Black and white. 
and now it changed everything black and white. Okay, let's say we just wanted this black and white to only be on this and never mess with anything else. Just click Alt, hold it down, clip it, and there you go. Another thing you can also do that does the same thing as clipping, but you can't really get it back, is merging layers. So you can just click on this layer, hold Control, click on this layer, and then right click and come to merge layers. And now it's just one layer, but that's destructive, so I don't like using it. So we're just going to undo that. And I'll just stick to the clipping mask. If you want some more space in your layers group, what you can easily do is click on both of these, hold control, and come down here to group. Just make a new group, and you can rename it whatever you want. We can do uh, cityscape black white right and there we go we got our cityscape black white it's all in one layer now it's technically in more than one because it's in a group but it's easier to see like this and easier to move around so we could do that with the hue saturation again just make sure it's clipped and we just want this selected on here so we just select both layers and make it a group change it to B and there you go we got two different groups we got our B and we got our background this is just black and white and this is just a hue saturation adjustment layer okay now you can do as many adjustment layers as you want and get super specific with masks and vector mask even if you want to mess with them but this is just a simple tutorial for you Comment down below if this helped you out or if you've seen anything that I missed or might have pronounced wrong or said wrong. Make sure to leave them in the comments below. Also, check out the affiliate links down below. I got some Wacom tablets and some other things that will definitely help you out while you're using Photoshop. So if you're planning on getting big into this picture editing, video editing, stuff like that, I highly recommend you checking those out. It really just ups your workflow and your time. It just helps you a lot. Check that out. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.